Hello boys and girls and welcome to lesson 2-5 2-5 Now for this lesson we're actually going to do it in class um, but in order to be able to do this successfully in class we first must learn about the mean, median, mode and range or in the order that it's in the title mean, mode, median and range and how to find uh, this information from a uh, given data. Data is uh, numbers or information that we're given. So uh, on your worksheet you have 10 questions to complete and I want to complete uh, one with you so that you know how to do it. Okay, let's go ahead and do number seven. Okay, this will also be your key answer. Okay, so for number seven right here we have the data the numbers given six three three four four the first question we are asked is to find the mean the mean another word for mean is average in order for us to find the average uh, what we must do is to add all of these numbers find the sum of the list of numbers the sum okay and then divide it by the number of numbers here we have one, two, three, four, five. So we're going to do, after we add all of these numbers, we will divide it by five. So six plus six plus three plus three plus four plus four equals 20. And now we have to divide 20 divided by five because we have five numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. And that is our average or our mean. So remember, first identify the data, find the sum of all of the data, and then divide it by the number of numbers. To find the median, we have to take all the numbers and put them in order from lowest to highest. For example, as you can see, I've organized them 3, 3, 4, 4, 6. 3, 3, 4, 4, 6. I've organized them from lowest to highest. Now, all you must do is just cross out a number on each side, like so, until you find the middle number. And there it is. And that's our median. Median. Now let's move on to the mode. To do the mode, we must the mode means the number that gets repeated. As you can see, the 3 is repeated twice and the 4 is also repeated twice. So we actually have two modes. We have 3 and we have the 4 because they both tie. They both have 2. Let's pretend if we had one more 4 right there, then our mode would only be 4 because it's the number that repeats the most but that's not the case and finally we have the range the range is the difference between the lowest number and the highest number the best way to solve it is to simply take the highest number which is six and and subtract three you take away three because you're taking the highest number and subtracting the lowest number Okay, and then you find the difference. Three minus the six minus three equals three. So our range is only of three. And that's it, boys and girls. This is our key answer. So make sure to put a star there and a star there. And now I know that you've watched this portion of the video. I'll see you in class. Make sure to finish from one to ten.